Pat, Paul Johnson said he has a tremendous amount of respect for you and that you're one of the toughest guys on his team. What's your reaction when you hear Paul Johnson say that about you? That's pretty high praise. Pretty good, especially coming from Coach Johnson. You know, he, he's always pushing us to be tough and, and you know, to get the most out of us. So he's, and he's a great coach. So, you know, whenever I can get some praise like that from him, I always take it hard. Defensive line was considered a strength of this team in the preseason because he had a lot of returning players, a lot of returning stars such as himself, Roderick Chungong, and Keyshawn Freeman, Francis Callen. What's the relationship like among you guys? You guys have been at it in that line group for a long time now. You know, we're very close now. We came, uh, a lot of us, come, the three of us came up, came in together. And, you know, uh, we really built the relationship with each other throughout these years. And when Coach P came in, you know, we really build a family bond in the, lock, in the uh, locker room and in the, in the uh, defensive line room. So, You began with designs on becoming a defensive end. You're playing on the interior. Was that a, a tough transition? Because as a defensive tackle, are you doing a lot of the grittier, more unsung things that perhaps a defensive end would do? Right. Yeah, when I came in, I, I had never played inside a day of my life. I never played defensive tackle, never played nose tackle. I was always a defensive end, so it was kind of hard to transition into it. But you know, once you once you get the drift of it, it's, it, it wasn't too bad. You know, it's just nasty in there, and you, you know you got to be nasty too. So it sounds like you enjoy that that element of playing a defensive tackle spot, that nastiness. Yeah, I do, because yeah, I know I remember what, uh, two years ago they put me at it back at end for a couple games, and it was like. It was free. It was like a lot of finesse out there, but you know, in the inside, you know, it's real, it's really gritty, and you know, you got to get down and work. So I like the contact. What's the Section 8 nickname? Yeah, it's uh, what we came we, we came up with, uh, you know, just a family thing. Um, it's eight of us, usually plays, and you know, when. Talking about the defensive they're line. They're talking group. about a defensive line group, and uh, we got to we gotta travel the farthest when we practice. Uh, and also, we play in the trenches, and, and you know, Section 8 is, is, is really means like a tough neighborhood, a little tough, tough environment. So that's what we came up with. And you're hoping that running backs, if they try to challenge you up the middle, they're going into a tough neighborhood. Going tough neighborhood. That's point. Your senior year, how have you done so far, keeping those emotions in check? I've done pretty good. Uh, it's coming down to an end, so time be flying. I feel like yesterday I just stepped on campus. And now I'm going to be out of here. <laughs> so, you know, uh, but I'm, I'm containing my emotions, you know, uh, just enjoying my time with my, my teammates and, you know, taking in the game at a time. What motivates Pat Gamble when he's on the football field? Who motivates Pat Gamble when he's out playing? My brothers motivate me because I want to do the best for them. Uh, I want to I wanna give them my all so we can get a W. That's what it all, that's what it matters when you're on a football team, you're playing for your brothers, and that's what I do. You talked about the nastiness that comes with playing deep tackles. The weird part of that look, you might win some 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 points just by intimidation. Hey, I hope so. I, I tried working hard on this beard. <laughs> it took me a long time, but uh, definitely definitely a part of me. I wouldn't cut it for nobody in the world. <laughs> How would you like you to be remembered as a Georgia Tech Yellow Jacket? Uh, a guy who motivates you, who you motivate to to go out there and play know that he was a team leader and he cared about his brother and gave everything he had on the football field. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.